Alright everyone, now that we're done with the game screens, let's start to code to add them in. So I'm going to click on to code panel. Make sure you're still on your stage, okay? We're coding for the stage. We are going to create a starting code. Events. When green flag is clicked, let me just zoom in so you can have a better look. When green flag is clicked, first screen I want to show is my title screen, which is this one. Okay, so make sure that you go to looks and take out this block. Switch the backdrop to the title. Alright, so this should be the start like that. Now, we are going to press the space bar to change the screen to the instruction screen. So how to do this? Go to events. Look for a space key press control. When space key press, ah, then go back to looks, switch the backdrop to your instruction screen. So with this, when you press the space bar, your backdrop should switch to this screen. Okay? Now, for our instruction screen, we will want players to click onto the start button to proceed to the gameplay. Okay? So to do this, let's go back to code. We're going to add a slightly longer code. So events, okay, when the backdrop happens to be the instruction screen, so when the backdrop is this screen, what we want to do is we want to add forever sensing if we sense that someone has clicked the screen. If mouse down, then we're going to switch the backdrop to the gameplay screen. Okay. So this is the completed code just for your stage, okay? When green flag click, switch backdrop to title screen. When spacebar press, switch backdrop to this instruction screen. And when the instruction screen is on, if someone clicks the screen here, it will switch to your gameplay and your game will start rolling, okay? Now let's add the code for your boat as well. We're going to modify the boat code so that we can add in the screens. So now everything will start when the gameplay is showing. So go to your boat code. Okay, I'm going to zoom in for this. The only thing we need to change here is the starting code. Okay, so everyone, I'm going to just show you what happens at the start. So when the game starts green flag click, we instead of showing the boat, we want to hide it. So we're going to pull out a hide block. Okay, so when the green flag click, when the game starts, we want to hide the boat first. Then what's next? Okay, we're going to pull this. Alright, we're going to delete off the old starting block for the long code. Now, hide already. What's going to happen next is, when the backdrop switches to the gameplay, which is the maze, ah, then we are going to make our boat show itself and switch to a normal costume. Okay, and with that, this is all you need to do for your computer code. Alright, let's test the whole thing out to make sure that everything works. And go. Where's the space bar? Click the screen. There we go. Oops. Alright, so it works perfectly fine. You can go and have fun with your game once you are completed. Okay? Yeah! I'm going to stop here. So class, once you have done this step, you have finished your entire game. Don't forget to click on File, Save Now. Okay, make sure you see the word Project Save before you sign out. Alright, have fun with today's work. See you next time.